What's up everyone? Uh, this video is a little bit different from what we're used to doing where it's a typical uh, tutorial slideshow type video. Uh, this is going to be a little bit more live. Um, again, that's different for me, but uh, what we have here is uh, a uh, old sea that I picked up for free. And it's a two-stroke gasoline-powered unit uh, that we're going to try to convert into electric. Now, I've done plenty of research online. And it doesn't seem like anybody has been successful or has posted any information on getting one of these things made. I don't know why that is. Uh, I'm sure people have tried. Um, but I don't know. So we're going to try and see if we can make it a success and try to do it for under 500 bucks. So I saved you a lot of the headaches of having to watch everything being ripped out of the ski because that's kind of common sense. Uh, but I'll show you what we have at this point. The fuel tank and oil tank all have been removed. Obviously the battery was removed along with the motor, the complete exhaust, and pretty much everything. Uh, what we're going to be shooting for here is where the fuel tank was over here. We're going to be running a 48 volt electric system and so I'm going to put uh, basically a series of four different 12 volt batteries aligned where the fuel tank was. The electric motor controller should be mounted somewhere in here as where the actual motor itself will be mounted somewhere in here. Now I don't know if we are going to go direct to shaft or we're going to use some kind of pulley gear system. That's to be determined because uh, we've got to think we've got to keep it out of the water if water enters the hole. At the same point we might need different gearing so uh, that's going to be part of the learning curve. But uh, that's kind of what we're shooting for. Uh, you'll see in the future videos here we'll have a uh, battery indicator uh, life gauge here. And then the gauge that was initially here, which was a fuel and oil level gauge, uh, is going to be replaced by a GPS speedometer. So there's a lot of cool stuff to come. Uh, just stick in, guys. Uh, if you guys like this kind of thing, give me a thumbs up. Throw me some subscribers. I'm going to try to keep making these things work. And uh, thanks again.